Hey guys, it's Mr. Osagera over at the Bushido School of Karate. Today we're going to talk about doing self-defense training at home. Now, if you've got kids or if you have a parent at home with you, this is an excellent time to practice this simple self-defense technique. Um, if I were a full-grown adult attacking another full-grown adult, adult, especially males, more than likely we're throwing a big wide right or we might be trying to take somebody down. If I was a full-grown adult trying to do, uh, trying to attack a younger child, more than likely adult males, if they're attacking females or younger children, are going to try to take them somewhere. So the easiest, most uh, common thing to do is to grab their wrists and try to drag them or take them with them. A lot of times, children are not uh, are not trained in stranger danger like we like we train here, and they might meekly follow along with that person. So we're going to work on some hand techniques to easily work on defending against that wrist escape. Okay, wrist escapes came about 120, 150 years ago uh, from adult males grabbing each other's wrists so they couldn't draw a weapon. That's not very applicable, but it's very applicable for an adult to, uh, to do that for a child and for a child to defend that. So we don't have a partner, but if, again, if you have a, chi uh, a child or if you're working with your parent, y'all can do this at home very easily. We're going to start by an adult grabbing uh, that child's wrist. If my wrist is being grabbed, all I'm going to do is throw a nice, strong Shuto Uki block. All right. A lot of blocks on the outside look like they're smacking things out of the way. A lot of times they have a lot of in close uh, applications. So if someone's grabbing my wrist, I don't want to uh, fight to bring my arm up because more than likely that adult is going to be stronger than that child or that uh, smaller female. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work to, uh, work to find leverage to, uh, to my advantage. I'm going to work on taking my arm to my body. I'm gonna take my arm to my body, and if they're so strong I can't take my arm to my body, I'm gonna take my body to my arm. I'm gonna take my body to my arm, and I'm gonna work on throwing that good, strong Shuto Uki. I might do that off the other side now. I'm gonna grab that hand. I'm gonna take that body to that arm, bring that up, Shuto Uki out. The way it would work is if somebody's grabbing that wrist, their, their arm isn't being swayed around by somebody just fighting with no technique. Their arm is being pushed into them and uh, you know, hopefully they're unbalanced and their, their grip is compromised and you can follow up with a certain technique after that. But if you're, like I mentioned again, if you're an adult with a child at home or if you're a child and you want to get, uh, get your parent involved in some training, have them grab your wrist. This works for low blocks. It's a little bit more complicated. This works for middle blocks. But my favorite is a good Shuto Uki knife edge block where you work on if I'm coming towards you, someone grabs my wrist, I'm pushing in and trying to grab their wrist after that. Again, guys, that's just a simple self-defense technique. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure you keep a lookout for more videos coming up, and we'll see you all later on.